what's up guys so I have you like in the most awkward position so at any moment you guys might fall because I literally have you balanced like on top of the rearview mirror and then I have the visor down a little bit to try and like do some balancing act shit anyways so today we are going inside the dressing room at Torrid can you guys even see I don't know if you can see going inside the dressing room at Torrid today we're trying on a bunch of different things we tried on everything from like their jagging jean things all the way to rompers which I have never tried on as an adult I only remember trying on rompers as a kid and then ever since then I've just been like nope that's not gonna look good on me it won't fit whatever that whole mentality but anyways just so you know there's gonna be voiceovers kind of on and off throughout this video just because there was music or there are people talking so even though I was speaking in the video I might not use that audio also if you want to know where I got these glasses I got them from forever 21 I also got the glasses that I'm wearing in this video in the try on I got from forever 21 also they're both less than ten dollars so you can go check that out if you have any questions about sizing prices all of that will be down in the description bar below just so you guys know some of those codes are affiliate codes which means that if you click those codes and then you buy using that link then I make a portion of that which if you feel weird about that don't worry you don't have to use the affiliate codes but if you do it is greatly appreciated because it helps me and I also have a discount code down there from for Torrid that you can use so it helps you guys out too. Um, but again, if you feel some type of way about it, don't worry about it. No worries. I'll stop rambling and you guys enjoy the rest of the try on. What's up guys? So we are inside the dressing room at Torrid today as you guys can tell. See how gorgeous, gorgeously organized it is? You can thank Jessica for that. She is one of the employees here at the fashion fair in Fresno. So, yeah. She done good. Anyway, so we're gonna be trying on a lot. A lot of different types of clothing, like dresses, dresses, rompers, pants, everything. I've never tried on a romper in my life, but honestly, I don't think that it's gonna be too good on me. But we'll find out. So let me just start off by saying that I know the lighting is gonna be kinda wonky in here because as you can see, they have fluorescent lights on both sides of the mirror so that's good while you're trying things on in person but filming not so much so the pants that I'm wearing are their black jegging jeans they are super comfortable I'm wearing a size 26 short and that is because girl I am short I'm 5'5 and these fit perfectly as far as length and fit all around and because they're jeggings they have some stretch so they fit perfectly for me this top, on the other hand, I had high hopes for, but because it's a peplum, it's not falling appropriately on my body, and um, if I were to pull it up where it's supposed to be, like I did in that little clip, I look like a fucking cupcake. So it's just not cute. But this is just a sheer white cotton peplum shirt with some whole details. And aside from the peplum kind of falling in a really awkward place on my body, it was a pretty comfortable t-shirt. So if you don't have that issue where you have like that extra fat under the bust, then this might be a great casual option for you. Let me just say first of all, this top right here is so fucking cute. It also made me think of Amanda because she lives for a good chambray. And let me just tell you, this is one of them. I love the fit of it. It's a high-low cut plus it has those cold shoulder ones which I think is a great option for those of you who aren't fully comfortable showing off your arms but you still want to stay cool so these off the shoulder kind of cut off cold shoulder details are perfect for you so with this top by the way I'm really sorry about the lighting again it's kind of blown out because of those lights on the mirror but this is such a comfortable sweater tank top. It's really sheer, as you guys can see. It's super stretchy and long, and it just feels super comfortable. You would think with that sort of heavy knitted material that it would feel really itchy and uncomfortable, but I didn't find that to be the case. So it does have these cut details on the sides of the shirt, and I also really love the fact that it's loose fitting. So if you pair this with like a really cute bra or a bralette, it could be like a cute little accent detail when you turn to the side. 
Here's the back of the shirt, which I thought was kind of strange because when it was on the hanger, I could have sworn this was the front and that's kind of why I grabbed it. But it's still cute regardless. Next, I paired it with this really cute denim jacket. It has a lot of stretch to it, so don't worry about it being super fitted and really uncomfortable. It does have functioning pockets on the sides and on top, so you can use all the pockets available to you. I love the little details that it has on it with like the flowers and all of that. The back is what really got me. The back of it, look at it. It says fearless and it has this tiger on it. It's so awesome. It makes me think of Alex from Learning to be Fearless. So now I paired that same outfit with another jacket. This is a faux leather kind of biker jacket. This one does not have pockets, unfortunately. And with it being faux leather, you don't really get much stretch or movement in this. So I would suggest going a size up or at least trying it on in store. Because after all, you are going to be trying this on over clothes and wearing it over clothes. So you need to have enough room to actually move your arms normally. So this tank top right here is crazy comfortable. It's like crushed velvet kind of feeling. It's almost like a, a teddy a little bit. It makes me think of, you know, the episode of Friends when Rachel is wearing lingerie and then she ends up having to like go out to, to eat in lingerie because she was like, oh no, it's a dress. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, you don't. I'm sorry. But yeah, and this sort of style was super popular in the early 2000s too. But as you know, retro, that's who I is. Loose fitting. It's got a really long um, cut on it. So it falls right here where most shirts fall right about here. So it covers the belly. <laughs> So right off the bat, really love it. This is a size three, so this is my size. And it has like these really deep cuts on the side. So yeah, it's pretty nice, I like it. It falls low again, so you get enough coverage on the stomach. It's sheer material though, so you can kind of, I don't know. Can you see my finger back there? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not so sheer that you're gonna see your bra or anything like that um it's just really flattering i think and kind of edgy this outfit i was not a fan of they were actually paired together on the rack and so i was like nah, let me give it a shot but this skirt no thank you it has sort of this ridge kind of detail on it the zipper is totally functional so you can zip yourself in and out of that skirt but it was just ugh, it was not cute i'm sorry it looks like it would be stretchy material but the reality is it's very fitted so make sure that if this skirt is something that you like that you get it your size this top though was actually really cute and comfortable the little V section right there that I'm showing you actually has like this metal material behind it so that it won't fold or crease or anything like that. There's a lot of stretch and a lot of give in that shirt. So yeah, like I said, these things were paired together on the rack so I thought maybe if I tuck it in it would look right, but it just, it did not happen for me. Guys, I'm in a fucking romper. Like, what? Who, who am I? Who are this? I'm sorry. New romper, who are this? So what you are witnessing right now is my body in a freaking romper. I have never in my adult life worn a romper. I think the last time that I wore one was when I was like in diapers still. Anyways, so I'm not too sure about this color on me, um, but the fit is phenomenal and it surprised the shit out of me. It has like this elastic waistband that hits right at the waist. It is honestly kind of flattering like it surprised the shit out of me because I was always of the mindset that it just was not gonna be a good look for me the front of it has like this sort of embroidered beautiful leaf pattern and it has these green tassels tassels whatever on them that make me think of a knight's tail if you get that reference you do if you don't you don't that's cool but back to this romper it doesn't have pockets which is fine that's fine with me I'm just totally blown away at the fact that it fits and then some Again, back to this cold shoulder cutout, which, like I said before, I think is perfect for those of you who aren't fully comfortable showing off all of your arm, but you want to stay cool. 
this romper just blew me the fuck away because it fit and then some. It's just, ugh, I can't get over it. So gorgeous, so comfortable. And then the back of it has this tie on it. Be prepared for lacing that one and tying that one on and off. Or, you know what I mean. <laughs> this dress right here, y'all. This dress right here. I was in love with this dress. It is so cute. It has pockets. It has this cute little button detail all down the front. The buttons aren't functional, which is why you're not seeing any puckering because this is not in my size. Otherwise, I would have bought it so freaking quick. Um, it does have sort of this white slip underneath. It was so comfortable though, but unfortunately it was not in my size. Um, Pinup Girl Boutique has a dress just like this that I have been looking at for years, like, like six years I've been looking at this damn dress. But it's like $200 or something, and um, so I, I could never justify actually buying it. But then I saw this one at Torrid, and of course it was like way too small, as you guys can see, with it being unzipped in the back. But guys, it is so cute so comfortable even with it being too small the length is perfect it has pockets get it girl get it get it get it damn it if only it was in my size so this dress is from their retro chic line so as you know i had to try it plus it's just so freaking cute it's off the shoulder and i love the rose pattern on the dress it was very stretchy very comfortable and I loved that sort of folded in design right there at the bust. That might be an issue for those of you who have smaller bust lines just because it might make some puckering or gap in that front area. Um, but for me, I wear a size D cup and it filled out perfectly on top. Though again, that does depend on what size dress you try. But overall, I feel like the material is super soft. There's a lot of stretch in the dress. It's super flattering and just so cute. So this next dress was super flowy and really bohemian vibes all over the place. It has these extra little pieces of fabric throughout the bottom that add to that flowy feel. It has that sort of cream colored slip underneath so that you don't end up like flashing anybody. And one thing that I really loved about this dress is that the print on it looks from far away black and white, but up close you see that it has those gold flecks and the black is also kind of like this charcoaly gray tone. It's just really beautiful and simple. So the back of this dress is my favorite part. I love the straps. I didn't notice when I was trying it on, but you see how it like splits in the back? I fucking love that. Anyways, so there is a tie in the back and that makes it come in a little bit tighter around the waist, but because it's a tie, you can adjust it. So overall, I think this is a pretty damn good dress. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me show you what I ended up getting. I only got two things. I ended up using two different discounts. I used my hot cash and then I had a $10 discount thing. So I ended up saving $40 getting those pants that fit freaking phenomenally. So I kind of had to. And then I just got that top because I just pictured wearing it in New York with my faux leather jacket. I just, oh, it's going to be so cute. Anyways, that's all I got. I ended up spending $63 instead of like a hundred and something. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on. If you guys want to know any of the details, prices, sizes, my sizing regularly, all of that will be in the description bar down below. I also do have a discount code with Tori that you can use if you want, and it helps me make a percentage and also saves you some money. So it's like mutually beneficial. But again, if you feel some type of way about it, don't worry. Anyways, I love you guys. And remember, if they ain't paying your bills, pay them no mind. Check you later. Bye.